accused of slanderous impropriety. <laughs> I don't think that's true. Man. <laughs> We are hated and feared. This people are disgusted, busted, and and, and not to be trusted. <laughs> mm -hmm. Shimmy, shimmy. Oh, crunchy, crunch. Yeah, I gotta shim the dips, but. That was scurred. Oh, how's that? Oh no, I'm totally blind. Ah. So yeah, we were driving our RCs, and then we went to change the batteries, and we're over there chilling, talking at the car kid rolls up him and his buddy on their mountain bikes and he like obviously wants to talk to us and he shows us this big scrape on his thigh that had happened due to a wipeout and he blamed the wipeout on us because we're raising dust so here's the dust and somehow those puffs of dust caused his accident that's what he's saying. And it was a young kid, probably about 16, 15 or 16, inexperienced, out here doing things he shouldn't do. And um, he wiped out. So that's just what happens. His, his ego was bruised and he wanted a way out. And he saw these, these, monstrous clouds of dust that we raise here as the as the cause of his mishap but I can assure you that that had nothing to do with it these are dry conditions the the soil is super dry and it's dusty and it's slippery so that is the cause of your mishap is lack of traction and bad judgment so I'm sorry, kid. I'm not taking responsibility for your wipeout. I, I'm, you know, I don't know if there's anything for me to be sorry about. I, I'm not sure that I, that I, Stu or myself are to blame. Stu apologized. Um, I didn't feel the need to since he already did it for us. Plus, uh, I, I couldn't have done so sincerely because that's not the way I felt about it. I mean, when I break my cars, I don't blame people. Hey, dude, your big ruts, your big tire ruts in the in the track made me made my car wipe out. It tipped over and crashed because of your tire ruts. Now that's an actual legitimate thing, but I would never have the cojones to say that to anybody. I mean, that does happen. Your tires catch in those grooves that have been dug in from the bicycles and they wipe you out. But that's just something that happens because we drive our cars. You can't not wipe out. Hey, do you guys want to come over here? Hey, if you guys want to head here, just let us know. Okay, thanks. Uh, we'll... We're very right now. We appreciate that. Thank okay. You. What time is it? Oh, I, my watch just vibrated at me. Um, 219. 219. Yeah. I don't have anything, but... Dude, I really want to get into indoor driving, like indoor racing. We, we got to do that one night. You know, yeah. find a night we can do it and, and do it. But, um, 
I don't want to drive this too much because I can tell that gear is needs to get pushed over a little bit. That crown gear. And I don't know. Wow, nice recovery. I just wish that these 3S BLX cars came with metal diffs and um, you know, a metal spur would be nice too. But that's really not anything I ever have trouble with really. And when I have, it's been because the pinion slipped or something like that. But these, uh, these spur gears are pretty good and protected inside that housing. So I don't really find the need to put metal spur gears, although this one has metal spur gear. I, I switched it over. It was the pre-assembled slipper clutch spur gear thing that you can buy. It was pretty pricey. It was like 79 bucks or something like that. I did that a long time ago and I sat on it for a long time and then I finally put it in this car. And it hasn't let me down. Other things have, but not that spur gear. Overall, I love the Typhon. It handles really well. But I do have to fix my diffs. Alright, over and out. Thumbs up if you like. Subscribe and all that goody stuff. Oh, I hope I've been filming. I'm gonna, I probably won't even put this video out if I haven't caught most of the images. See you.